Are you also going from the York Sierra of Look back to another Beast Swarm Simulator video. And in this one, I'll be teaching you how to do macros inside of Beast Swarm. If you do not know what a macro is, it's pretty much legal hacks. That's the best way I can describe it. What it does is it automatically farms fields, quests, and just gets honey for you. It's stupid, but it's the best way to progress inside of Beast Swarm. So if you want to learn how to make 20 trillion honey per day, just macroing and doing nothing, watch till the end. So yeah, I hope this video does help you out. If it does, drop a like and sub. It really does help support my channel, and it helps these videos travel to more people. So if you drop a like, this video will help even more fellow Beast Swarm players. And a lot of people also ask me whether this is bannable or not. This is not bannable, you will not be reset. On it said that macroing is fine. I should also clarify that this is only for Windows. I'm not sure if this works for Mac. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, and definitely doesn't work for mobile. So this is only for PC or laptop. First thing you want to do is download this program called AutoHotKey. Everything you need for this tutorial, I'll leave in the description. So you just want to click download AutoHotKey. Once in downloading, just click open. Allow it to download. And do express installation. You can just exit out of the AutoHotKey afterwards. Next thing you're going to want to do is join the macro discord. I will also leave a link to it in the description. So yeah, when you join, just click update my rules, read through the rules, react to it, make sure you don't get banned. And after you're done doing that, just go to Nature Macro. It's in the download section, so just scroll all the way down, and this is the latest version, and you're gonna want to click download. Even if it says potentially dangerous download, it's whatever, it's just Discord doing their thing. Same with Chrome, just press keep, it's completely safe, trust me. After you have the macro in your downloads folder, just right click on it and click extract files and select whatever destination you want. I'll personally do it on my desktop, so okay. It's extracted. So then I go on my desktop and as you can see, I have all these macros. So when you see this, just click on the Natro macro, it has a little H. Double click on that and as you can see, the macro is open. If you do not have this on your screen right now, make sure you rewind the video and make sure you did everything correctly because I mentioned everything you need. So I'll go over the basic features of this macro. The field rotation, you can just select the field that you want to macro in. The shape, I just recommend sticking to little, it's probably the best. Pattern length doesn't matter, the width doesn't matter, the minutes, I'd keep it the same pack 100%, I'd keep it also. And next, to hive by, this really depends on your level. If you do not have a lot of instant conversion, then I recommend keeping it walk. But if you do, but if you're a pro player and you make most of your honey by instant conversion, I recommend you have a reset. Personally, I have reset, but for noobs, it's walk. Pretty much just keep everything else default. You don't want to mess with that. Then collect slash kill. I recommend you have your tickets on just because it farms tickets for you. You can have it kill Mondo or loot Mondo. Either works. I personally have Mondo off because it's not worth the time. Same with Ant Pass. If you need Ant Passes, you can just turn this on and it'll get you Ant Passes. If you want it to get dispensers for you, then go for it. It can also do bug runs for you and loot the bugs. Same with the Tunnel Bear and the King Beetle. And it can also farm Singers. It's a cool macro. For boost, this is for your boosting items like Extracts while macroing. So let's say I want to use Blue Extracts. I put the Blue Extract in the third slot of my inventory, then I go to slot 3. And I can select when I want it to be used. I'll say gathering and use it every 10 minutes. And then when I'm gathering at pine, for example, it will use extract every 10 minutes. You can do the same with enzymes and stuff at the hive. Oh yeah, quest. It's also quite cool. You can farm black bear quests, bucko, ridley, and polar bear quests. Same with honeybee. The only one I'd recommend you actually farm is like the polar bear or bucko or ridley if you're going for one of the two tools. The tide popper or the red scythe. The Dark Scythe, sorry. I personally have gotten almost 100 polar power by running this macro for like 4 or 5 days. And a bunch of tickets. I have 7,000 tickets. Almost 8,000. So I, so if you need polar power, I recommend you use this. Planters Plus is also quite good. So you actually get the chance to select what kind of planters you have. I'll tell you this. If you want to keep up 5 nectars, you will need the petal planter. But if you do not have the petal, you will be able to keep up 4 nectars constantly with just the help of the pesticide and all the tiers below it. So yeah, just select all the planters you own. For example, I own all of these. I don't need the plastic or candy, but all the other ones, they're quite good, so I have it selected. And just make sure Planters Plus is enabled in the top right corner. Don't mess with the fields. And yeah, just do auto or every two hours works either way. And make sure your max planters is three. And yeah, that's all you need. I also wouldn't mess with. It's like, you know, you don't gotta mess with that. And yeah. Shout out to all these people for making this insane macro. 
But the saddest, I will tell you guys, I did show the saddest in one of my videos, and as you can see, this is what it looks like. Pretty much, it's these bar graphs that tell you how much honey you're making and how much different things you have in your inventory while macroing. It's extremely accurate. Like, it tells you how much buffs you have and how much you're making per hour. I'm not making much because I am doing polar power macro. So if you guys do want to learn how to do that, I will make a new server and show you guys. So just for me and my friends, Yarix's server. There we go. So just go to the top, just click on your Discord server. Server settings. Integrations. Create webhook. New webhook. You can name this whatever, so just say hi. Get your macro and click copy webhook IRL and make sure this is enabled and when it is, just paste it in. Control C, Control V. On oh, private server link, I forgot about that. You can put your VIP server in so it rejoins if you disconnect. And yeah, I'll show you guys what this Discord webhook looks like. So let's just press F1 and start the macro, and it's gonna start macroing for me. It resets the hive. And look, on the Discord, it says like all the stuff that I'm using. Hopefully, I don't dox myself with this. It's gonna give you reports on every single thing it does, and by every single thing, I mean literally everything. Every small step you do, every small step you take, every bug you kill, it'll give you updates. So yeah, this macro does not get enough praise. Shout out to Natro for making this possible, and shout out to him for all the support. I do love this macro, personally, with all my heart. I don't know where I would be without it today. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you out. I did go in depth as much as I could with this, so let me know if I did well with this tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure you ask in their Discord server. And yeah, I kind of forgot to mention, you do need a Discord account for most of these steps. But if you don't have one, just make one, it's quite simple. And while editing this video, I thought I didn't show enough of the status, so I'll show you guys more of that. So let's just press F1 and start the macro. As you can see, I'm clapping my hands, definitely not clapping something else. Clapping your mom. And look, this macro is just doing everything by itself. I'm not doing anything, not touching my keyboard. And this is the most impressive part, it's just gonna go to Pine, and it's just gonna do everything. And what this macro tells me is everything that's gonna be happening, so I'll show you guys in a second. Hourly average, honey earned, 315, let's go. It literally made 315 honey, bruh. But yeah, hopefully you guys understand how this macro works a bit better from this video. Like I said, shout out to all these guys for making this Natro macro. I think the original version of this is called the Zez macro, so there is a bit of inspiration towards it. And yeah, at the end of the day, Beast Farm is mostly just macroing now. There is not enough playing of the actual game, you know, everyone's just trying to get as much honey from macroing, and apparently it's working. So hopefully this macro tutorial does help you guys progress a bit faster in the game. I hope it does, because, you know, you kind of need macros to keep up and compete with the top players. There just ain't no other way around it. But yeah. But yeah, if you enjoyed or this video did help you out, drop a like and sub, and maybe share this video with a friend who's looking for how to macro. This is probably one of the best tutorials out there. And yeah, talk to you guys later. See ya.